So, after a hard day spent fighting an evil clone, you know what comes next. A nap? <laughs> Please. We party down. Well, I gotta get going. Things to settle up before I head back to Tuchanka. Always fires to put out when you're in charge, right? Let me know if you want to hang out or if you're having that party. See ya! Party, huh? Well, no pressure. No one's gonna make you throw a party. All right. Good idea. Let's set it up. I've channeled discretionary funds into your account for the purchase of any celebratory supplies, Commander. Okay. Edie and Cortez and Trainer are in. What? I have also informed Dr. Tassoni about any potential upcoming celebrations. <laughs> wait, wait. I'm in charge of the guest list. Yeah, so there's no uninvite button on this thing? All right, but when it's time, I invite the rest. Cortez just invited James. So... <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I'm gonna go out and see how much trouble I can get into without snapping a femur. Members of your crew have expressed interest in spending time with you, Commander. You can check your private terminal for messages. If you require activities, Silver Sun Strip has an arcade in addition to the casino. You have also been granted a complimentary pass to the combat simulator. Thanks, Cliff. Guess I should take advantage of some shore leave myself. Right, let's check the messages. Oh man, that that last fight. Oh, I just, oh, can't. I just can't express how horrifying. Bray, subject Omega. Things are settling down on Omega. It looks like the talons of the new security force on the station. Their leader said something about honoring Candrus's memory. I'd say they were being cute, except they're not shy about backing up the sentiment with firepower. Be careful out there. Know there's at least one Batarian here that doesn't want you dead, Bray. Yay! From Miranda Lawson. Shepard? Would love to see you. Can't be any worse than that pokey little captain's cabin on the Normandy. Invite me over sometime in the area. I'm in the area, or rather... Hey, next time you're in that sweet new apartment with time to kill, give me a call. I've got something I'd like to show you. Oh, yeah. Samantha Trainer. Mm, Commander, if you'd like to meet up for lunch, I'll be in the Citadel Arcade area. Hopefully see you there. Drinks? When you have a free moment, I thought we'd check out the bar scene around here. Let's meet at the Silver Coast Casino, upper floor. Hopefully no dead-armed stealers this time. <laughs> uh, Commander... I have uh, uh, received an interesting proposal that I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino at the far end of what these primitives call the Silver Sun Strip, although it isn't made of silver or near a sun. Stupid primitives. From your friends at Armax Arsenal Arena, dear Commander Shepard, we here at Armax Arsenal are huge fans of yours, and we can't tell you how much we value your efforts in the fight against the Reapers. In effort to raise both awareness and morale here in the Citadel, we've recently reskinned the holographic enemies in our simulator to look like Cerberus troops. We've got a big surge of viewers interested when we added Geth enemies a few years back after their attack on the Citadel, and we're adding Reaper forces as well. We understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave and giving our viewers a taste of what a real military veteran can do, we would love to have you come compete. We, uh, you've got a complimentary pass waiting for you whenever you're interested. Thanks again, your friends at Armax Arsenal. Okay, so that's just like a little arcadey shooter thing that you can do, I think. Fighting several... Uh, little missions and doodads and what have yous. Commander, if you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the strip first. Ah, I better go to the... I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. I better head to the strip. Purchase party supplies.
Oh, what have we got here? Polished vanity. Oh, deluxe vanity. Yeah, we're gonna purchase that. What have we got there? Artistic shelving. Unique shelving that doubles as an artistic point of interest. You know, we can afford everything. Let's just be extravagant with our purchases. Because there's no reason not to. And we can sort the decor out when we get back to the apartment. We're happy to fulfill all your household needs. Good. You just have... Yeah, that last, uh... That last fight, oof. My god, that took it out of me. <laughs> boy! Oh, that was something else. Felt good beating it, though. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? Ah, Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing! You can play yourself! Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted! We have the real Shepard now! All right, places everyone! Quickly, quickly! Cue the backdrop! Roll cameras! And... Action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom which we all urgently face draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen Roast. <laughs> ah, you die now! <laughs> Not yet! That line comes later! The Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this vid. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Prothean, no like you! Did someone say Prothean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. <sighs> Blasto! About time you showed up! The galaxy is under attack by Reapers! If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory senses. Uh, actually that was me. Sovereign? Saren? You might have heard of them? Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto-7. Blasto goes to war? Think of the children. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Prothean, <laughs> no like you! <laughs> this one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of it? We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Lord! It's Sovereign's half-brother sluggard! And he's looking for some payback! 
Kill the stunt double! Your line. Say your line. Oh, you'll die now! Oh no! The Vorta Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. What? Not this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. This one insists. This one doesn't care. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. May we go now, Commander? Strike the set. <laughs> Telecasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. Oh my god. <laughs> Well, that was <clears throat> something. In Florida, with the production of Francis Kent's All L4 Hammer coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere request. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. I couldn't imagine an, an Elcor doing Shakespeare. Um, yes. Uh, Hmm, eight. The bar. Arsenal Arcade, number six. Okay, we, uh, we want to head back. want to head back that way, I think. Uh, is it this way? Uh, ca Castle Arcade. No, wait, is, is that saying this is Castle Arcade? No, that's Tiberius Tower. I don't know. Okay, right, this is... I mean, ah, they're upstairs. Did you catch the updated intel report? Wait for Trini. Excellent use of the Daylucian Gambit. Is this space chess? It's called Kepesh Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. To Sousa. Oh Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. Which is a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. Roger that. Heat is on. Trit takes the first move, moves me in the cruiser. Oh, it gets destroyed by the opposition. Ah! So much for your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. Oh, maybe that was a frigate. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now, living on that warship. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. So, your job is playing games? 
mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations. Yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Apologize again for missing lunch. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. Now give me the tournament winnings. I believe there's somebody else here we need to speak to. Uh, that's purchasing party supplies. How that? Number six. Zaid is here apparently. But where? Why? Now that's exit. I don't want to exit just yet. Oh, there he is. The man, the myth, the legend. He's playing a claw machine. What is this? You're mine, you bastard. God damn it. Say it. The biggest rig in the galaxy. Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. <laughs> what are you doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? <laughs> Isn't there something better we could go do? What could possibly be more important than Zaid Masani not getting bested by some fucking kid's game? <laughs> you really want one of those plushy toys. God, I'm right, I do. Okay, then. Credits. Sure. But even a bounty hunter's got to use his manners once in a while. <laughs> Please. Easy. Easy. It's obviously rigged somehow. Rigged? I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably some smart ass Salarian bastard. I'm going back in. Credits. <laughs> All right. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid. We're two. <laughs> How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? But this time, you play with your own damn credits. I'm man enough to pay for my own addictions, Shepard. Addiction? Already? I'm an all-in kind of guy. <laughs> I think I knew that about you. <laughs> oh, man. That's brilliant. Okay, let, let's go. When the game starts, the player can move the claw, activate the claw above the prize you wish to claim. When any prize that the claw picks up and delivers to the prize slot, value of the prize is determined by colour of the ball. Large prize furnished by homespun decor. Controls. Use WS and D to operate the claw. Use spacebar to activate the claw. Oh. King of the Castle, win a prize at one of the arcade games. 
Oh, music track for the apartment. Get in. Can win anything else? Got a blue one this time, possibly. Congratulations, you're a winner. Hey, we've got another music track. Right, anyway, I think that'll do. Win a prize! Come on down! Yeah, win yourself a prize! Alright. Your move. Interesting. I've watched some of your other matches, and you've never opened a game with that particular Right, anyway. I think I've done enough of that. Who else do I need to uh, visit here? Purchase party supplies and meet up with Garrus. Garrus! We come in gears. We talk to our buddy Gears. There's the stairs over there. Oh yeah. Ugh, oh, this is where we were doing that horrible mission. I don't want to purchase party supplies yet. Let's wait for Garrus. He doesn't look right out of his armor. Somebody noticed. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. I, I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello? And... Hmm. Tell her she looks nice. You seem like a nice person. Maybe a little quiet, introspective, but... Decent. Overall. Oh. Thank you. I think. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen. I've got this thing I forgot I had to do, and... I should probably just go do it. Garrus is a train wreck. Sorry. Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. Holy shit, wingman of the century. Oh. oh, that was something to see. Party supplies, hells to the year. Right, now that we have those, I don't think there's anything else we can do here, really. I think everyone's pretty much invited to the whole uh, shadingo, so let's go. I'm going to figure out how to get out of here now. Lord preserve. I've received a new message at my private terminal. Ah, crap. All oh, work, no play. Shepard, now that we've got a little downtime on the Citadel, I wanted to share something with you. I'm taking the shuttle down to the Silverstone Strip. Okay, maybe we're not finished yet. Shepard, as part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participated in rituals found in all human cultures. Replying, we can meet at the new apartment. Commander, I was somewhat surprised to receive a comm call from the council. They would like to hold what humans call a memorial service, where it is 
Hell does not matter so much as who attends. I would like you to be there as well as those people on the Normandy who knew my father. I understand that at human services people speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct this part as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I'm somewhat nervous. I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of everyone. Thank you. This would mean a great deal. We can certainly do that. Shepard, I thought it might be nice to spend some time away from the Normandy. I don't have anything particular in mind. Perhaps we can meet at your apartment and decide from there. Sony, what have you got planned? Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. Bet there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Wanna really feel it? Show me. See? It doesn't take much to pull a few G's. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. I'm fortunate to have you, Steve. Anytime, Shepard. Alright, what else we got? Come hang out. Jacob Taylor. Meet me outside the arcade on the main level if you game. Well, may as well try. None of the others uh, gave me any kind of location. It's a bit weird. Well, maybe they were just saying, hey, you can invite us to the party? Uh, let's see who we got. Jacob, he's at the arcade. Right, kind of getting a feel for the layout. Long sight lines. The real. Right here we go. Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R and R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Let's do it. Great. What's he dragging me into now? Uh-oh. This is your game of skill. Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk? A shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. You're crowding me. Am I? My bad. <laughs> Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. How do I play this? 
Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Yes! That all you got? Check it out, Shepard. Feel that? That feeling of doom. Never mind. I got this. Careful, Shepard. Don't break a hip now. Here's where my comeback starts. Boom! Killed it! Oh, damn. Here he is. Yeah! Jacob wins! Not my day. Congrats, Jacob. Ah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. Oh god, that was a painful experience. I can invite people. Well, I'm an absolute twat. Okay, we're going to invite some people up to the apartment now that I know I can do that. Let's, uh, we'll go from the top down. Let's invite Edie first. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I, I guess we could. Did you have the place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want to rent it. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Um, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you... valuing me? It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? Not even close. Who's next? <laughs> I was thinking of something for Liara. Oh, we don't get. To oh, come on! That would have been excellent to just go through everybody. All right, who we're we gonna invite up next? Who's next on the list? Who's next? We got James. He wants to come over to the apartment for whatever reason. Let's do it.
Hey, loco. Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. <laughs> Nice view, but this place, it's just so not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. Hey, is it true you and Tally are, uh, you know... Together? Yeah. Why? How do you two... I mean, is she... You know... Under that suit, do quarians have... Have... Never mind. I don't really want to know. <laughs> so did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. This is going to be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. Okay. See you. See you later, James. You, you, you're just going. No way. Uh oh. You've been holding out on me. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Come on. Let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> oh, God, fine. <clears throat> fine. <clears throat> you want some pointers? You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. <clears throat> ah, you were just getting started. Oh. Okay. Okay. O okay. Okay. I got this. I got this. <clears throat> Look at you. Keep it up, amigo. Oh my god, is there an achievement for this? Okay, can we do 99-200? Here we go. Just lifting it strong. What count are we on? I've lost count. Has got to be killing. Oh, I can't even do one. Nice four. That's twenty. A oh, what? Twenty. I've just done twenty. What? It'd be handy if it would just go a little bit quicker. <laughs> possible to beat his thing. That would be insane. I mean, I would have... Not bad. I would have told my shoulders out by now. Just trying to do one. Oh my god. This is the video, guys. This is it. Me doing pull-ups. You go, Commander. Oh my god, we're doing this. We're doing it. 
Lordy, nice. Still a ways to go then. So 182 was his best, and we gotta beat 182. Where you can just push the buttons left and right, left and right, and just keep going at it instead of getting the little cutscenes. This reminds me of a bit in Final Fantasy VII, where you have to dress up and you have to do like these squats. Gonna be rip, man. And when you uh, you have to, if you do it perfectly, you get like a better reward or something. I think it's to get a week. God, I can't wait for the remake of that game. That's sixty. High five. Funny. <laughs> We're gonna do this. All the way. We've taken it this far. I'll probably speed this up. Come on, we can do it. We gotta beat James's score. Is, that, is the time between the. Good stuff, Effie. Is the time between the things getting shorter? I don't know. I, I hope I get like an upgrade for this, like a, a fitness upgrade. Okay, let's go. Oh yeah. Tell me I've got to 80. That's halfway to my record. Great. Okay, so we must be at 91 then. Come on, we can do this. All the way. Determination. <clears throat> One hundred. That's impressive. <sighs> Thanks. <clears throat> Just eighty-two to go. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's starting to slow down. I'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Ha. <laughs> oh man, I almost took the wrong one. Oh my god. Unfortunately, it didn't cancel it out. I'm so happy about that. I'll be like well annoyed. Come on, we can do it. Oh, this is this is tense, but chill. That's it. Come on. Oh, he didn't even come back. He just like appeared back. Let's do this. All the way. Stop me yet. I better get the indestructible perk or something for this. Bullets just bounce off me. You know what would have been funny? Don't listen to my suit.
Come on, all the way, baby. Yeah. Come off, end up looking like a crow again. <laughs> so close. Don't torment me, man. No tease. Come on. Are we going to smash his record? That's the question. Is Commander Shepard going to be able to put James in his place? This looks so weird. Holy hell, you did it. I, I don't know what to say. How you feeling? <laughs> Might need help pulling on my armor next time. <laughs> no doubt. But you earned your name today, loco. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry. I won't. Oh my god, I think I just died. This is high quality stuff. Mm. Alright, well, well, we'll leave him to have his, uh, his punch on. Get his punch on. Next on the list, Caden Alenko. Co. Co. Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> Come on! You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. <laughs> what are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have, uh, beef? Bacon, we have beer, the foods of my people. Wish me luck. Oh dear. If you need luck to cook us dinner, we're screwed. Screwed? Oh, you hurt me, Shepard. Relax, it's gonna be great. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> So, remember how I saved the Citadel? And then, well, you weren't there. I survived a suicide mission? All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. <laughs> Can it at least be quick and painless? Funny. You think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. Huh. Do we have hot sauce? <laughs> that was great. Still waiting for the botulism to kick in. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty good. Actually, it was pretty good. I'm impressed. Thank you. I'm an enigma. I've got skills. I mean, for example, fist fight, me and James, and I'd win, right? <laughs> what if I fought dirty? <laughs> I don't think him and James get on. <sighs> or he's definitely got some kind of rivalry thing going on there. Oh dear. Who's next on the hit list? Next up, we have Colyart. Let's go. This should be interesting. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The counselor knew him as a hero. 
The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms, and others as a father devoted to his son. Though his life took him to very dark places, Bane cared for the better angels of our nature. Even when he was terminally ill, he ran through war-torn streets to reach me because he knew I needed help. You all know the results of that day. An assassin, a professional criminal, gave his life for his galaxy. And now he can rest. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane's last stand was important. But let us also remember why Thane left the Normandy. To keep his son away from a life of crime. Deeds such as these do not go unnoticed by the universe. They echo in all who hear them. That is why I am here. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, there wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways, said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. I don't know if I'll be as philosophical about it. It's still kind of raw. I understand. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the counselor. But what? He is feeling grateful, and I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, then there. I appreciate the offer. But Counselor Valorant has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Ooh, those are going to be some uh, interesting videos. We need to check messages. So let's go and do that first. Before we invite anyone else up to the apartment. 
Oh my god. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyad. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shape of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Oh, uh, you got to say it, buddy. Well, that was a bit of a Debbie Downer on the whole thing. Let's see who else we got left to invite. Uh, Liara. This is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. <laughs> you couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> Could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard.
The person who taught me that song was a friend. I spend so much time chasing down knowledge. Sometimes I forget that there are things you learn by doing nothing. By just spending time with the people you care about. What have you learned from me? I suppose... how to get myself into life-threatening situations on a daily basis? I am a good teacher. <laughs> the best. Well, I should probably go. I have reports to look over. Right. But first, why don't you teach me that song? Hey, there's a glyph. Interesting. Oh, you're still here. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Well, I'll be damned. Liara knew how to play a piano all along. She held out on us. And last but not least, one Miranda. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Oh, fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. Sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? <laughs> yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two shepherds. Think of the property damage. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... a shame. <laughs> Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... exploded. <laughs> it was the clone's plan, not mine. <laughs> Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone <laughs> or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Oh, 
my goodness me. Oh, I thought it was like some kind of arbitrary loading screen. Oh, that's fine. So that's everybody in, in, invited up. I, I just want to... I want to do something crazy. I want to walk out and walk back in and see if it says there are any messages. Just in case, before we get this party started. Definitely nobody around. Nope. Let's go back in. You have received a new message. There it is. I might have to do that a few times before it'll uh, kick in. Hey, let me take a second to thank you for watching. If you like what you see, then give it a thumbs up. It really helps. Hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with release content and streams. Also, click that bell for those notifications. And please, feel free to leave a comment. This is Vaguely Sane, signing off.